Garver in that 0-1 car on the outside, trying to make it work. Durden in that 33 car, moving up to third down the back stretch. Caution, caution's on the track. Caution, caution, there goes another one around in turn four. Sammy Mixon looking them over. Green flag is out and we are dirt track racing. Well, I was close, it's three out of four wide anyway. Joe Belkey up there getting in the mix. How about it, three wide down the back straight away, Belkey to the inside, Eddie Ganey putting a bumper to the 33 of Kevin Durden, giving him a little bump drafting down the back straightaway here at All Tech Raceway. Sharing the love, you know. Always one of our most exciting divisions. Keep your eyes on our points leader, car number 56, Patrick Williams, our most recent winner here. Four wins on the season, I do believe, for Patrick Williams, and he's making his way through the pack. He's never in a big hurry. He just kind of shows up there towards the end of the race. We'll keep an eye on cars number 33 and 56. Last time Belkey was here, had a great battle with Kevin Durden lap after lap. We'll see how that shapes up here as the later going of this race comes into our play. Pinky making the way right now. Jason Garver driving Pinky up against the wall, pretty much on both ends. So the Olin's mobile home transport ride looking good right now at All Tech Raceway with only three laps complete. So 20 laps to go, a lot can happen in that time. You see Joe Belkey right there in the Florida fork, forklift ride. Our good friend Joe Limebarrier, the announcer over at Bubble Raceway Park, helping out on that ride. And it's a good one as well. Dalton Straley, the car owner, Joe Belkey can win in anything you put him in. Right now, Jamie Carter behind him in the 18C. Jamie Carter known here for some of his spectacular rides in modifieds here around All Tech Raceway. Watching the 18 car now, trying to run down Joe Belkey. Belkey out of Daytona, Jamie Carter out of the Clay Hill area. And Carter has got a great race car under him here, Chad. Yes, he does, Durden. Uh Eddie Ganey, and then you got Patrick Williams that you spoke of earlier in that 56 car, you know, working their way towards the front slowly but surely. I tell you, I've noticed here what has happened to the racetrack here tonight. It was kind of a, a little bit rough earlier down there in turns one. It's looked like, it looked like it had smoothed out a little bit. And these guys are racing. Our leaders are up on that high groove, but you can pretty much go anywhere. Look at Carter right now, looking to the inside of Joe Belkey. Belkey saying, wow, where'd that 18 car come from? The Showers chassis, car number 18, Rolls into second place. Rolls into second and up into the wall. Oh. Caution, caution on the track. Got one backed up in the wall in turn number one, and we got uh, the 18 car just up in the wall down in turns three and it four. It wasn't just the 18. It was kind of like We are going green flag racing. Green flag's out. Pinky on the outside. Belky on the inside. Kevin Durden moves up into that third spot. Threading the needle down the middle, Durden in the middle, three wide. Pinky, whoa, caution's back on the track. Caution back on the track, turn number one. Caution, not turn one. Green flag's out. Dirt on the outside, Belky on the inside, going in a turn. Caution, caution's on the track. I knew that restart wouldn't Check fly. I, and did. now this changes everything, Chad. Yes, sir. Instead of leading that race, now he's got two cars that he's got to get around to get back to the front and two good cars at that. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Green flag in the air. It's going to be three wide by the time we get to turn one. How about this? Big Kevin Durden drops the size 15 foot on the gas pedal, side by side with Joe Belkey. Here comes the bulldozer, Eddie Caney through the mix, just drives down to the inside of Jamie Carter, wow. Up against the outside wall is that 33 car, Durden. 
and look what's coming up behind him but the 0-1 car pinky. Belky in the middle there. I'm gonna tell you, they all better watch out for Jamie Carter and Eddie Ganey. Both of those guys got good fast race cars here tonight. Patrick Williams still lurking back there in the distance. Chad, we're not even to the halfway mark yet, so there's plenty of time in this one. Oh, I agree. Yeah, he's still got plenty of time, and he's on the inside of that 41 car as we speak, Joe. Working his way up to in that fourth, fifth place right now is going to be that 56 car of Patrick Williams. So Williams slowly and methodically makes his way through traffic. Meanwhile, his car owner and teammate, Kevin Durden, out front. Pinky up against the wall behind Durden, running pretty much in his tire tracks. Nice to see good racing out front, good clean racing, I'll tell you. Patrick Williams now going to go to the high side of the racetrack. Car works good anywhere. His next victim is Joe Belke and that Dalton Australia owned car number two. Uh, I'll tell you what, Patrick's got car number 56 wound up. He knows when it's time to go, but caution flag on the speedway once again. The top for six car. here can win this thing here tonight. Here we go, back green flag racing here at All Tech Raceway. Big Kevin on the high side, 56 in tow behind him of Patrick Williams up to second spot. Here comes Jason Garver down low, tries to put the moves on Kevin. Big Kevin keeps her wound up, down the back straight away he goes. Watch that 56 of Patrick Williams dive to the bottom underneath Garver. These guys have been racing hard all year and a little rivalry between Williams and Durden. Durden is the car owner for Patrick Williams. Patrick won it last week. Kevin Durden said he roughed him up after the flag. He said he wasn't putting up with it this week. He would take care of it on the racetrack or in the pits, wherever it needed to be done. Well, so, <laughs> and, and if, you, if you know Kevin Durden very well at all, you know exactly that he just don't talk to hear himself. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. The computer tune. Car number 33, McGuire's Auto on the side of that. There's so many great people that make up the Double D Motorsports entries here. Long time. Just got to give a big shout out to that whole team. They work so hard on those race cars. Multiple 30-year, 40-year veterans. Kevin Durden has been driving race cars, I believe, this year is his 39th year. 38 or 39th year. 38 or 39th year. Everybody on his team has that same amount of time as ex in experience. When you think about that experience and bringing five of those guys together for three hours a night in a shop, I mean, it's amazing what this team's able to do, but it all goes down to the years behind them, the experience in racing. And how about this? Joe Belke is going to call it quits in car number two. And also, Joe, you mentioned this, but the, but the brotherhood of the Dobbins family. You know, Jimmy and, and Randall and, and uh, you know, Donnie before he passed away brought everything to the table for this car. Uh, it, was a, it was just a great bunch of people. Still a great bunch of people. Donnie highly missed. His team really carrying the banner this year. Awesome racing. Now we've got three, three veterans and five laps to go. What's it going to be here? Kevin Durden leads the field. Here comes Jason Garver and Patrick Williams trying to chase down a multi-time winner track champion here at All Tech Raceway. He's won across the states on, in asphalt, dirt. It doesn't matter. Modified late models. And look at Jason Garver pounding off the wall down there, opening the door for Patrick Williams. Williams is going to stick the nose to the inside and try to drive on down there. But how about Garver with the run on the top side? Caution, caution on the track. Wow. This changes it again. Yes, sir. The team Remember that they've that? assembled over the years, but you don't do it overnight, and these guys have been at it for a long time. And here we go. We're back green flag racing. Who's it going to be? Kevin Durden to the front. Pinky behind him. The bulldozer behind Pinky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at here. Here comes big Kevin Durden back down to the inside. 
Pinky and Durden down into turns number three and four, side by side for the lead here at All Tech Raceway. Slide job central. No slide job that time. We've got side by side racing. Two veterans. Garver with over 410 oh, wins to his up career. The wall. Oh, they're going to change the name to Pinky to Sparky. Here we go, down in the turns, number three. Here comes Garver, slide job for the lead out front. Garver almost into the wall. Here comes Kevin Durden back. Can he answer the call? Durden side by side at the line with Pinky. Down in the turns, number one and two. Big Kevin Durden down low, puts the slider on. Garver, Garver, can he regroup from that wall crash down there, that spark flying? Fireworks display down there in turns number one and two. Here comes Patrick Williams. White flag in the air. What's it going to be? Kevin Durden crossing the stripe. One half mile to get it done. Garver lurking in the darkness back there. 41 again. He down to the bottom. Patrick Williams on the high side. Going to pull back in the third. <laughs> what a race. What a race this has <laughs> turned into. Uh-oh, here comes Garver. Does he have anything left for him at the line? Who's it going to be? Big Kevin Durden in for the win. Can't say enough about this 33 Blue Gator sponsored car. Kevin, congratulations, buddy. Give us a rundown. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Man, what a race, huh? Y'all had to enjoy that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good race. Started, you know, six, got a good start. Got up there in the top four. And I guess Jason jumped the start a little bit and they put him back. So, you know, I'd, I don't like to get him like that. But once we got out there, we had to do what we had to do. He slid me, I slid him, and it was great. We never touched. Great race. Great race. Yep. Um, thank my crew. Um, I was out of town most of the week. My guys worked on the car while I was gone, got it ready. Um, they work on it every week, so thank you to all of them. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Computer Tune, uh, Captain Bob, um, Blue Gator, uh, Whiteley's Heavy Duty Truck Parts, McGuire's, uh, PDS, B4 Signs. Uh, man, if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry, but got to get them in when we can.